Hello travelers, welcome back to my channel. This week we're gonna do a quick video on tips and tricks you may not have heard of that are gonna make your life in Palea so much better. Gift extra furniture. We know furniture has to be built to further that skill, but we don't always like the furniture that we make and we don't wanna keep it. We can't sell the furniture and we can't reclaim it for materials, but Tish will take any furniture item you don't want as a gift for the day. Sure, I still want a better mechanic for all the furniture that we make and don't want anymore, but at least for now, the storage at home is unlimited for decor items, and if you just started up the game or you haven't yet become friends with Tish, it's a pretty good way to skyrocket that friendship. Sell to the guild stores. You can utilize the NPC guild stores when out gathering resources. Save time by selling your spare stone or abundance of flint to Hodari rather than traveling all the way home from Bahari Bay. Fish with an unlimited time frame by standing next to Einar at the lake. Just fish, sell, repeat. You can even buy glowworms with fishing medallions after you reach level 10, so you literally never have to leave. This next tip has been iconic for me and a lot of my community. Lock a hot bar. Keep things like ammo, bait, and maybe a lucky star stone out of reach when running around. Never again accidentally eat food you meant to save or consume a fisherman's brew before actually getting to fish. In settings, you can change bag rows in action bar. I usually keep one bar hidden, only accessible from my player menu. You still access ammo and bait like you usually would, but you don't need to scroll through every row in your bag to find your focus food when gathering resources now. So play around and see what works for you. Stop jumping while climbing. If you want to get up real high, that is. You're more likely to glitch when climbing if you are jumping. So while it's slower, you will get up higher by slow climbing your way up. And don't forget, you can use X to let go and then glider back onto the wall if you do get stuck. You don't have to jump off and you don't have to climb until you run out of stamina. On the flip side, start jumping while foraging. The animation when you forage not only causes your character to pause for a brief moment, but it also cancels your auto run toggle. Just jump as you interact to pick up a forageable item. Jumping will stop the gathering animation from ever even starting, meaning no more stop and start. This is especially useful along the coastline of Bahari Bay for picking up shells and oysters that happen to be in a very small area altogether. Don't ignore your garden. Now, this might seem obvious to some, but I've noticed there are a lot of players who choose to only garden when they need ingredients for cooking or quests, and ignore preserving crops altogether. I have never been super focused on getting gold fast, but I get asked a lot how to make the most money in Palea, especially how to do it easily. And the answer is gardening. Not only is it pretty passive, allowing you to go on and do other tasks throughout the day, but it can make you an easy 10K gold over a few hours, especially with the preserve jars, and you barely have to do anything. It's not always the best for early game, but once you've been playing for a while, gardening and preserve jars are absolutely the way to go. I plan to make an entire video dedicated to gardening, both for new players and existing, so make sure you subscribe to be notified when it comes out. Five o'clock is chit chat hour. Every NPC in Kilima will be somewhere near the central plaza starting at 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. Paleon time so you can save time in the real world and plan ahead as you work to grow your friendships, starting with the Daya family, including Badru and Delayla, as they will start making their way home from the plaza around 5 p.m., while everyone else will arrive by 6. Afterwards, you can also travel out to Bahari Bay if you want, and Tamala should be right by the central stables. Then you can casually stroll towards Hadari and Najima's workshop, where you'll finish off your day. Well, folks, I hope one or more of these tips help to make your life in Palea just a little bit better. And as always, if you feel like it, like the video and maybe subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, have a very magical day.